A major international armada of naval power has massed off the Iranian coast for what's believed to be the biggest military exercise ever seen in the region. The American and British-led show of force near the strategic Strait of Hormuz comes as Israel has ramped up its warmongering rhetoric against Iran. And as Sarah Furth explains, there are further indications that a showdown with Iran may be on the cards. Britain's one of 25 countries taking part in a 12-day exercise in the Strait of Hormuz in the largest war games ever undertaken in the region. Now, this comes as fears grow that Israel is preparing to launch a preemptive strike against Iran's alleged covert nuclear weapons program. Now, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has said that Iran's six to seven months away from having 90 percent of what it would need to create an atomic bomb. Now, these are claims that Iran vehemently denies and they've also warned that they will uh, retaliate across the region were they to come under attack. Now here in Britain at the same time the former Liberal Democratic Defence Minister Nick Harvey has claimed that he was fired in the recent cabinet reshuffle to avoid a damaging coalition split over a preemptive strike on Iran. Now, now he's reported to have told friends that he was fired in that reshuffle to allow the Deputy Prime Minister to sign up to an Israeli-US preemptive strike and that his criticisms of Israel's actions could prove embarrassing for the coalition. Well, this comes on the back of continued concerns here that these war games and the recent statements are all signs that Israel and Iran are edging ever closer to the brink of war.